Speaker recognizes Representative Jerkin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today I rise in opposition to House Bill 4138. I believe this bill is a major change in the corrections policy that merits further discussion and the input of voters. The voters must have a say in this matter. Presumption parole is a major departure from the current truth and sentencing laws that have been in place since the late 1990s. It was even a ballot proposal that the people overwhelmingly wanted. This bill's proponents contend this bill would save significant tax dollars in corrections, but at what cost in our local communities? Local law enforcement and counties will be left holding the bag without any increase in funding to cover Lansing savings. Public safety is an essential role of this government, and as a former deputy sheriff, I cannot support a policy that will put our communities at risk. And I will give you an example from February of this year. A 27-year-old man pled guilty to four counts of armed robbery, and I have it right here. The possession of a switchblade and fourth habitual status for crimes committed in Warren and Centerline last fall, my communities. He was sentenced to an earliest parole date of 2035, and the maximum discharge date is 2080. But because of this legislation goes forward, this would make this bad actor a candidate for presumption parole, in my opinion, and our communities can't have that. Warren, Roseville, Centerland, and Macomb County will gladly pass on this presumption parole, and I urge my colleagues to vote no on this bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative.